So in this video, we're discussing a pretty major update that we have just completed on our Advanced Fees app. As you may know, um, if you're in the industry, if you're one of the agents, um, you might be familiar with Advanced Fees app and the fact that you know it has limitations. And those limitations revolve around the idea, for example, of executing a couple of order level fees, not just one order level fee or the ability to control the order level fee so that it can become um, triggered above tax line or below tax line. Um, and so also, you know, the ability to stack fees uh, or refuse the stacking of the fees. And so we are proud to announce that a lot of these updates have been made. And so I am going to Actually, I'm going to delete all of these and together we're going to reset them up and we'll see how that goes. All right, so to get started, obviously, we're going to open the app. And in fact, why don't we first do a quick update to do an update? We're just going to click on this refresh on the register and then it's going to show us like I just dragged this menu here and it's going to say one uh, app up to date. And we can click on that and it's going to tell us advanced fee. Uh, we can go ahead and install this update. And after the update, we'll see the new and improved set of functionality. You can see the process right there. Downloading, verifying, installing. Done. All right. So now we open advanced fees. We got the updates and it's a blank slate. The first thing I want to show you is that if we go to the menu, now we have sync settings, we have language settings, and we have duplication stacking settings, right? Duplication stackings have to do with what we're talking about here, right? So right now it says prompt me to select. Uh, we're going to go ahead and always apply all triggered fees. And so this has to do with the fact that sometimes you might uh, set up a bunch of different fees to trigger under uh, in like in the same order or in the same item. And so the this setting will monitor how the app should behave in that case. Should it always trigger everything that gets triggered? Should it warn you that there is, you know, duplication of fees? Uh, should it force you to choose between the fees? Uh, so those are the options. We'll go ahead and set up a first fee. And you'll notice that the screen now is way more complex. There's more options. So... But to pick up on just the order level fee that's before tax line or outside of the tax line, we just have to say order via service fee. And you'll notice that as soon as we've done that order via service fee, the, the fee name is disabled. Um, the, uh, the percentage is also disabled. Um, and it gets pre-filled out with large party fee and 4%. Where is this coming from? So this is coming from setup. If we go to setup here, and if we click on additional charges, this is right there, 4% large party fee. Let's change this to 5%, 5%. And, you know, now we have it, uh, you know, let me just kind of do this switch here and then switch back there, and it picks up on 5% instead. So there it is. It says large party fee, 5%, order level, payment screen. So this is another option that is new. Uh, we used to be able to only trigger this app when an item was added to the cart. So now we can trigger it at the end when the payment button is pressed, and so that's what that is. Um, and you know we have our conditionals. Um, so we're gonna keep it at always. So hit save. So here's our first fee. It's large party fee, 5%. It's active. It's all the time. Let's go see how that works. We're going to open this register app here. And in fact, we're going to grab a custom item, right? So this is another thing that didn't work before. Um, I would spend a bunch of time explaining to people that, you know, custom item doesn't work. Now it can. Watch this. So here's a dollar and we're going to hit pay. And that's it. So after that pay, we go back here and there's the fee, large uh, party fee, 5%, five cents on a dollar. Uh, that's our 5%. So now we proceed to, oh, um, let's go ahead and set up another uh, fee, right? So now we're gonna say, we want another order level fee uh, and that one needs to be 
you know, let's make it 50% uh, just so that we can see the numbers better, right? And so you see that order via service fee is disabled because you already have one fee. And that was one of the issues is that there's just one spot in Clover where you can stick that fee and it gets used up once and that's it. So now you can do order via custom item. So it's still going to be counted off of the entire order. It's still going to be percentage based. Uh, and now you can say whether that fee itself will be taxed or not taxed, right? So you have this option and we can go ahead and say that the fee is taxed, okay? Actually, let's first say that it's not taxed so that we can then see how it works. Um, and we can continue to do the payment screen or item screen. Item added is not a probably not a good idea. Well, actually, no, never mind. It's a good idea because either way, it'll uh, allow you to not have extra steps. But if we're doing on the payment screen, it's basically at the end of transaction and we're just going to say always. So, oh, and one of the name, right? So we did want the name and the name is going to be, um, you know, order level fee not taxed okay like that so that's going to be the name so now we have two fees running same conditions um let's see how that works i'm going to go ahead and save this order and just start a new one and i'm going to grab you know a random custom item here we go let's go for a dollar and so far nothing happened because you know, we didn't hit the pay button. But as soon as we hit the pay button, two things should happen. We should get the order level fee that's uh, here. And then we should get another order level here uh, fee that's right there. And so let's go ahead and hit pay. And we are at large party fee, eight cents, tax, 16 cents, and uh, 50 fee order level fee not taxed. So the 16% uh, tax, is going to be off of this dollar there and the 50% is not participating in the stack. What if we, we changed uh, this scenario? We went in and we said, all right, we want the fee to be taxed. So fee is taxed. So now 50% is taxed. So I'm assuming there should be another eight cents of uh, taxes in there somewhere. Um, now we're gonna go to register. Right. And remember, this is the scenario we did uh, this time. So when it was not taxed, so dollar, that's it. So we're just going to hit this, grab lottery. We're going to grab this one dollar here and see how it's different now. So we're just going to hit pay, uh, go back. All right. So now it's different. We have uh, our item. Here's the order level fee. Here's another order level fee. And the tax now, as you can see, is 25 cents because we said that this thing right here also is taxable. All right, so let's go ahead and pay for this. I'm just gonna hold my register so it doesn't open. All right, and I'm gonna grab this receipt here so we can see what that looks like. All right, okay. All right, so we had a bunch of uh, sales taxes, right? So, and uh, we had our, wait, that's not even that receipt. I think I'm out of paper on it, right? Is that what's happening? Yeah. No, oh, the paper is there. All right, so, uh, print receipt. Okay, so let's see what we see here on this receipt now. Uh, so we have our custom item, dollar. We have order level fee, uh, not tax. We do want to change that name. Um, and then we have the taxes. Uh, and then we have the large party fee. Um, so there you go. Two fees that were triggered on the order level. Uh, since this fee is now taxed, I do want to change that label here uh, just so that it reflects what's really okay. So like that, now it's taxed. So now we have two fees that are order level and we can just keep adding these fees. So we're going to have item, you know, we'll call this uh, bottle fee like this. Yeah. 
and we're going to say that it's percentage and it's going to be item specific um, and we're going to grab our um, our absolute vodka and our great goose vodka right and say that uh, when we charge like we want to charge uh, 20% for example I mean or we could do dollar amount so it doesn't matter I'm just be using bigger numbers so that we can see the numbers everywhere easier so what I've done so far is I've set up a bottle fee percentage item um, and I chose specifically the two items that I wanted this assigned to uh, we're gonna say that it's also on the payment screen and it triggers always Okay, so now we have three fees uh, triggering on a single order, uh, and one of those fees is item specific. So how does that work? We're going to grab our, uh, first of all, let's do our alcohols, I guess, mm, because that right away will, you know, tr well, actually not. Let's just do a custom item. So that's going to do two of our fees uh, that we can see there, right there, you know, 50 cents, uh, 8 cents taxes, everything is good, and then we're doing a Grey Goose Vodka, um, and I don't see that it actually worked, oh no, we have to go to pay, right, so if we go to pay, uh, there it is, Grey Goose Vodka, bottle fee, 847, so that's kind of how that works, and if we put absolute, you know, it's going to be 10, like that, and if we go to pay and come back, Absolute will also get its uh, fee. There it is, $111. That's definitely 20%. Um, so a bunch of fees get triggered uh, in pretty much any combination. Now, if we have left these fees on the way that they are, and then went into our language, no, not language settings, but went into our duplication and said, do not allow fee stacking, right? So not allowing fee stacking will force a merchant to pick between one of these three. Okay, so let's go ahead and demonstrate how that works. We're gonna go to register and hit save. We're going to, uh, well, let's go to our alcohol and let's grab our Grey Goose Vodka, Absolute Vodka, like that, and custom item for a dollar, like that. And then we go pay. Uh, and so it's gonna force you to select. So item, there is no conflict. Uh, there's no two fees being triggered on the item, but between the order, it's going to force you to choose either the 5% or the 50%. So let's go with the 50%. Say yes. All right. So now this fee did not trigger. That fee did trigger because we chose that way. Um, and then the third option would yet be um, duplication. Prompt me to select. So this way you can still double trigger but you'd have a choice uh so how does that work let's see so we go to our um register like i said this is a pretty big update i'm in minute 13. um all right so we're gonna go ahead and hey, save this situation here we'll go to alcohol we'll grab one of these we'll grab 15 pounds of that Wouldn't that be a cool party though 15 pounds of absolute all right, so here we are, we're gonna hit pay, and now it's gonna say, well, here's all your orders, uh, here's all your fees, go ahead and select which ones you want, and you can grab all of them, right? You can just do this, that, this, that, um, there, and now all of the fees are triggered, and you can see them there. So like I said, pretty big update. Um, as far as the language is concerned, you know, it's also there. We have English, we have uh, Spanish and French uh, for our friends in Canada. So I hope you guys like it. This is um, has been requested quite often. And so there it is. We got it. Thank you.